Module 3, Financial Aid. The Nevada Promise Scholarship is a last dollar scholarship, meaning that it will cover the cost of tuition and class fees not covered by other gift aid to the last dollar that is owed. Gift aid is defined as federal or state funding that does not require repayment and includes the Pell Grant, the Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant, or FSEOG, the Silver State Opportunity Grant, or SSOG, and the Governor Gwynn Millennium Scholarship. Outside scholarships, WNC Foundation scholarships, and other institutional grant awards are not considered gift aid. If a student has been awarded outside funding, such as a scholarship through their church, a parent's employer, or through an essay contest, this money is applied after the Promise Scholarship and can be used towards books, transportation, housing, or any other student expense. The Nevada Promise Scholarship will provide students with up to three years of funding, although students will need to reapply for the scholarship each year by the October 31st deadline. The scholarship is awarded on a first-come, first-served basis, though in its first year of implementation, every student who completed all of the requirements and enrolled in at least 12 credits was fully funded through the Promise Scholarship or through other gift aid. The Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, determines students' eligibility for federal, state, and institutional aid programs and is used at institutions across the country. In order to be eligible for the Nevada Promise Scholarship, students must complete the free application for federal student aid by April 1st. The earlier a student submits the FAFSA, the sooner they can complete their financial aid file, so it is recommended that they complete this requirement as soon as possible. Approximately 33% of students are selected for verification, which typically consists of uploading additional tax information. If your mentee has questions pertaining to financial aid verification, please refer them to Western Nevada College's Financial Assistance Office. The Financial Assistance webpage is also a great resource and can be accessed at www.wnc.edu slash financial. Students must complete their financial aid file by April 30th including any verification forms that may be required. After a student's file is complete, they will receive an email containing their award letter, detailing which awards and how much financial aid they will be receiving. Students can also log into their MyWNC Student Center, where they can view award amounts by semester or academic year, as well as check their progress on to-do list items. Financial aid awards are dispersed beginning the week prior to the semester. This is a federal deadline and not a date set by Western Nevada College. If a student's gift aid, such as a Pell Grant, exceeds the cost of tuition and class fees, the student will be issued a refund. It is highly recommended that students sign up for direct deposit so that their refund is processed efficiently. If a student does not sign up for direct deposit, they will be sent a paper check via USPS. Here are a couple awarding examples to better illustrate how the Nevada Promise Scholarship works. Example 1. In this example, registration and other mandatory fees for the semester total $1,250. The student has been awarded gift aid in the sum of $480 through the Millennium Scholarship. Once this gift aid has been subtracted, the student still owes $770. This remaining balance will be covered, to the last dollar, by the Nevada Promise Scholarship. If the student were to have outside scholarships, these would be applied after Promise pays $770, leaving them with an excess sum which will be sent to them as a refund. Example 2. In this example, registration and other mandatory fees for the semester are the same, totaling $1,250. The student has been awarded gift aid in the sum of $1,880 through the Pell Grant. Once this gift aid has been applied, the student will have an excess sum of $630, which will be sent to them as a refund. Because there is not a remaining balance or last dollar, the student will not receive funds through the Nevada Promise Scholarship. Students must reapply for the Nevada Promise Scholarship each year by October 31st in order to qualify for funding for the next academic year. For example, a student who submitted their application by October 31, 2018 was applying for funding for the 2019-2020 academic year. Students apply for funding nearly a full year in advance. 
Students may apply for up to two additional years of funding following their initial year as scholarship recipients. Academic years must be consecutive. If a student takes a semester or year off, they will not be eligible for funding through Promise when they return. The Nevada Promise Scholarship was funded for the graduating class of 2018 and legislature is actively working on securing the scholarship again for the class of 2019. Applications were open for renewal this year but are subject to appropriation which may happen as late as June 2019. To remain eligible for funding once the scholarship is renewed, new and returning students should prepare to meet all program deadlines for the 2019-2020 academic year.